Have you ever pondered the irony of darkness giving birth to light? That's the irony of the Dark Ages. Often seen as a chaotic and declining time following the crumbling of the Roman Empire, this era is misunderstood. From the 5th to the 10th centuries, Europe was splintered into small, warring kingdoms. Learning centers were replaced by battlefields. Sounds daunting, but that's not the entire story. Look closer and you'll find an era of transformation. As the old order collapsed, new societies and cultures began to sprout. The political landscape reshaped and the roots of modern Europe were laid. This period, shrouded in mystery and misconceptions, wasn't as dark as it is often portrayed. This was a time of great change. The Dark Ages were indeed an era of chaos and decline, but also an era of growth and transformation. The seeds of modern Europe were being sown amidst the chaos. Consider, for example, the widespread belief that intellectual life came to a grinding halt during the Dark Ages. This is a common misconception, fueled by the erroneous notion that the era was characterized solely by a decline in literacy and culture. In fact, it was an era that witnessed an impressive surge of innovation and adaptation that saw the birth of many new ideas and thought processes. After all, the Dark Ages weren't called dark because of a lack of intellectual advancement. The term was actually coined to reflect the lack of written historical evidence from this era. Yes, it is true that the old Roman institutions, the towering pillars of learning and culture, had crumbled and were lost to time. Nevertheless, that did not signal the end of intellectual pursuits. In the hallowed halls of monasteries nestled away from the chaotic world, a new form of learning and scholarship was steadily taking root. These monastic institutions became islands of knowledge in a turbulent sea, upholding the tradition of intellectual. They painstakingly preserved, copied and disseminated ancient texts and wisdom, keeping the flame of knowledge alive. These monasteries, in the midst of the so-called Dark Ages, were like beacons in the night. Illuminating the path of knowledge, they became the torchbearers of intellectual pursuits, steadfastly preserving and copying ancient texts. What about the idea of relentless warfare and barbarism? This concept has often characterized our understanding of this particular epoch, painting a picture of ceaseless strife and violence. We conjure images of vast armies clashing on blood-soaked fields, of fortresses crumbling under siege, of civilians caught in the grim clutches of a war-torn world. While it's true that experienced a significant share of conflict, it would be myopic to perceive it only through such a narrow lens. Indeed, it was not a mere epoch of unending battle and brutality, but rather a complex tapestry of human history that was being woven. In the very midst of all these trials and tribulations, a remarkable phenomenon was beginning to unfold, one that would change the course of history forever evolution. The concept of diplomacy, which we often take for granted in our contemporary world, had its humble beginnings in this tumultuous era. Kingdoms, in their pursuit of security and stability, began to form alliances. These were not merely impromptu arrangements born out of, but calculated strategic moves aimed at mutual sustenance and survival. Treaties were signed, not in the shadows of deceit or under duress, but in the illuminating light of negotiation and compromise. These were seals of trust, markers of a burgeoning understanding that peace could be more beneficial than war. Diplomacy was slowly being recognized as a tool for conflict resolution, a means to forge relationships rather than sever them. This was a time of significant transition, a time when the machinery of war to give way to the mechanisms of peace, a time when the rough edges of conflict were slowly being smoothed by the gentle hand of diplomacy. And slowly but surely, a semblance of order began to emerge from the chaos. The grossly underappreciated age of diplomatic evolution was dawning, and with it, a new chapter of human history was being written. Art and architecture too, far from declining, began to evolve in fascinating ways. The post-Roman era was marked by a transition in European society. This transition was reflected in the development of new forms of creative expression in art and architecture. An architectural evolution that would shape the future initiated during these dark ages. The Romanesque style, a prime example of this evolution, began to take shape during this period. This style was marked by its rounded arches, massive walls and barrel vaults, which laid the groundwork for the more complex architectural forms to come. 
It was a precursor to the stunning Gothic architecture that dominated the landscapes of the later Middle Ages. As this architectural style evolved, did the art of this period. In the realm of art, a distinct style began to develop, influenced by the intricate designs of the Celtic and Anglo-Saxon cultures. These designs, marked by their detailed knotwork and animal motifs, flourished during this period, reflecting a society enriched by its art and architecture. So, was the Dark Ages a period of decline or transformation? The answer perhaps lies somewhere in between. Let's endeavor to delve deeper into this historical period to unearth its complexities. This era, often misunderstood and overlooked, holds a fascinating dichotomy that continues to baffle historians. It's not as simple as saying it was just a period of decline or transformation. Rather, it was a multifaceted entity, wrapped up in the fabric of human history. The Dark Ages were characterized by significant transitions, politically, socially, and culturally. It was a time when the old world was dismantled, and a new one to emerge from the ashes. This change was not immediate. It happened gradually over centuries. The landscape of knowledge and power was drastically altered. The known world witnessed the crumbling of mighty empires, the loss of scientific and artistic advancements, and the rise of new societies and philosophies. Amidst the apparent chaos and destruction, there were also of regeneration. New beginnings were sprouting, often in the most unexpected of places. It was during this time that the foundations of many modern societies were laid. It was an age that saw the end of the classical antiquity and the beginning of the Middle Ages. So, while the term Dark Ages may denote a sense of decline, it was also a time of profound transformation. It was a period that saw the demise of old orders and the birth of new ones. In conclusion, the Dark Ages were not as dark as they have been depicted in popular culture. Contrary to many preconceived notions, they were not an epoch marked by intellectual stagnation or ceaseless barbarity. Instead, this period was a crucible of pivotal metamorphosis, an era that laid the firm foundations for the modern world we inhabit today. Many myths and half-truths surround this era, creating a distorted image that overshadows its true essence. One such common misconception is that the period was called the Dark Ages, due to a supposed absence of intellectual and cultural development. In reality, however, this term was coined by those who misunderstood its complexities. Far from being a time of rampant barbarism, it was a period where societies underwent drastic changes and adaptation. It was a time of evolving social structures, shifting political landscapes and remarkable technological advancements. Despite its struggles and challenges, this era was characterized more by progress than by regression. The Dark Ages were a fascinating blend of upheaval and not a grim epoch of unending darkness. Misconceptions about this era, like the idea of intellectual darkness or unending barbarism, are largely unfounded. It was an era of change, adaptation, and ultimately progress. So the next time you encounter the term Dark Ages, keep in mind to peer deeper than the superficial darkness that is typically associated with it. The phrase Dark Ages carries with it a connotation of gloom, decline, and stagnation. However, this perception is a simplistic view that doesn't fully encapsulate the complexities of the era. Society during the Dark Ages was not stagnant. Change was not absent. It was merely subtle and gradual. The term dark refers more to a lack of documented evidence and history rather than the actual events that transpired during this period. Underneath the veneer of darkness, one can discover tales innovation and cultural evolution. It was, in fact, an age of profound transformation, a time when civilizations adapted and evolved in the face of adversity. The Dark Ages was a time of societal introspection, where the gears of change, although slow, were grinding steadily towards progress. The tools and institutions that we now take for granted were being forged during this time, paving the way for the future. As with any era of history, it's important to perceive it with a balanced perspective. The Dark were not merely a period of decline and cultural stagnation, as often portrayed, but also a time of great resilience and innovation. So, remember to look beyond the perceived darkness. For it is often in the darkest times that the seeds of future light are sown. And the so-called Dark Ages were no exception.